Hi. Welcome to TJ and Jody's house. Well, well, well. Look at that. We didn't quit after all. How long has it been? A month? Yeah. Like a it's month. A month since we've done a TJ and Jody's house episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it wasn't because we were uh, in contract disputes with each other or anything <laughs> like that. Uh, it was, we were on vacation. It was Mother's Day and then Memorial Day. Yeah. So all of these things that happen on the weekend throw us off from being able to record mm-hmm. TJ and Jody's house podcast. So uh, today is Sunday and what what is the date today? The 2nd? June 2nd? June 2nd. Okay, mm-hmm. so um, we are back. <laughs> As it were, and um, to be honest with you, we were so thrilled to be doing it today on Sunday. <laughs> so glad we're back in the swing of it. Now, we have some exciting stuff uh, to, to tell you about today, but uh, the main thing is is that um, Sweet Dreams Mattress and Furniture, I'm sorry, Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress is our sponsor, and they have been for a long, long time. Mm-hmm. Um, we are meeting with them this week. We are. And we're uh, planning something special an event that we're going to be doing with them. It's going to be fun. And I have to be there yep. at, at the meeting. Yep. Yes, you do. And what time is it? Is it in the afternoon? Uh-huh. You'll be all right. Because I have a morning meeting kind of thing, you know, important managers meeting with radio station affiliate people and stuff like yeah. that. So, and then it's sweet dreams later on in the yeah. day. Yeah. Yep. You'll be, you'll be good. Um, I'm zooming the other one. No, you're actually I gotta going. Go, go go to the uh, one of their locations. Yeah. Which location are we going to meet with them? Mooresville. Okay. So they have locations all over the Lake Norman area, and if you want furniture, there's no better place to go. That's why we uh, have gone and gotten furniture from Sweet Dreams for a long, long time, even before they started paying us to talk about them. Oh, many years before that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because we're old. We've been buying furniture a long time. That's how you know you're old when you've been buying furniture for a while. Because as a kid, you don't buy furniture. Uh That's an adult thing to do. Sure. So whether it's furniture for the living room or the bedroom or the mattresses, it's all uh, top of the line. And the people at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress are great. Mm -hmm. You're going to love them. If you don't love them, then there's something wrong with you. (laughs) Not something wrong with them. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, that's a great advertising slogan, I think. I don't know why more people don't use stuff like that. Hey, if you don't like us, there's something wrong with you, not us. (laughs) Yeah. Your personality is bad, not ours. Right. Because, you know, get away from that whole customer's always right thing. Oh, yeah, that would go well. It would be better. Mm -hmm. So Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress has locations all over the Lake Norman area, but can serve uh, the entire Charlotte area with their delivery team. And um, and they're so experienced and knowledgeable about everything. You're gonna you're gonna just be so thrilled with uh, doing business with them. So Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Go to acetj.com/mattress to find them. Sounds like a sweet deal to me. All right, Jody. I didn't even make any notes about um, about the things we're going to discuss today. Okay. Because it's been so long, I figure that we can just um, we can just play catch up or something. Sure. Um, a nice lady sent a message the other day and wanted to know if it was done. Is <laughs> TJ and Jody's house done? Because I go every week and it hasn't been there. And um, Well, bless her little one soul. But you know why she would think that? Hmm. It's because you're always talking about how you're on the edge of not doing it anymore. No. Because you're I'm disgruntled. Fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Hmm. I am. So what is it? You, what's wrong? What do you mean? You just you don't seem with it today. You seem kind of like I just feel Ooh. I'm I feel kind of dizzy. Dizzy as in uh, because you're with me, no. like that normal <laughs> feeling you get when <laughs> no. you're around me. A no, little woozy. I just feel weird. I may just be tired. Do you think it has? Is it hormonal? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel dizzy. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm just sleepy. Nauseous. No, I'm not nauseous. Have you eaten anything today? Yeah. To speak of? I just ate. What? I had a sandwich and some chips okay. and watermelon. Well, I saw you this morning put like a half a bowl of watermelon together and eat that for breakfast. <laughs> so I didn't know if that's all hungry. you had. No, I ate. Okay. But still dizzy. Do you do you need to take a break? No, I'm good. 
Okay. If I fall out, you'll know why. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, we've been doing a lot of um, a lot of activities and all. We, you know, as my grandmother would say, we don't let any grass grow under our feet. I'll tell you that right now. We do not. Um, so yesterday we were out on the lake mm-hmm. and um, then watched uh, college baseball until late at night. Yeah, we've been watching a lot of college baseball. Yes, my son and I took a road trip. Mm. this past Friday to go see LSU um, play in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. It's a regional tournament there. And our son usually doesn't get excited about anything. I mean, he is he is like one of the most laid back yet sensitive people. Yeah. Because he is, he he is, is sensitive. a sensitive soul. Uh-huh. Um, but he got so excited and he <laughs> was jumping up and down at the game. I love that. High-fiving people around us and yeah. – all of that stuff, just very... That's good. Yeah, out of uh, character for him. Wish I could have witnessed that. <laughs> <laughs> we came home and he was telling uh, Jody all about it, and he goes, yeah, I mean, when when uh, Milam hit that walk-off home run to win the game, Dad and I hugged. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that was cute, yeah. though. Because I'm a super, super affectionate person. And he's not. Mm-hmm. He never really has been. Our daughter is more affectionate yeah. than he is. Yeah. Um, he's like his mom. Mm-hmm. He doesn't. He doesn't go in for all of that. No. So I thought. Uh, I mean, it was kind of weird because I mean, we were standing there looking at each other, and I, and we almost high fived, and then I was like, well, "Should I go for the hug? I feel <laughs> like I feel like this is a hug moment <laughs> with my son." And so I just went in for it, and he grabbed me. And (gasps) okay, that's so great. What I mean, I'm just saying that you know how he is. No, that's great. No, I I mean, even if it does excite him, we want we don't know. He has the same response (laughs) to everything, so we never know. So to hear that, that's great. I'm happy to hear that. If it was baseball that did it, great. (laughs) So his sister, all the way through college, you know, she went to college in Nashville. She would she would be home for, you know, holidays and things like that. And then whenever she or for the summer, and then she'd get ready to go. And we're all going back to Nashville. We're all hugging her, and she's hugging us, and she's you know, not wanting to go. And I'm gonna miss you and all that. And he loves her. I mean, they they are yeah. super super close. But he's like, all right. <laughs> I'll talk to you, you know, FaceTime me when you get there or whatever. Yeah. But no yeah. hugging. Yeah, no, no. That may change <laughs> when he gets older. Has it changed with you? Yeah, you I older? hug people. Are you kidding me? I hug oh. all kinds of people. Um, I am a hugger. Yeah. I am. You are. You are to everybody else. I hug you too. Stop it. Rarely. for uh, there's There's rarely an unsolicited hug out of you. And when you do, that's why I make such a big deal out of it. Okay. How long did I leave your little love note, your little post-it that you wrote on, on for me that one time? How long did I leave that on my bathroom mirror? Forever. Yeah. Because I didn't know when it would ever come again. <laughs> <laughs> You're so ridiculous. Am I, Jody? Yes. Am uh, I? Yes, you mm. are. But anyway, that was fun that boy and I did. Yeah. And then... Um, we went to uh, one of the reasons why we didn't do a show one week is because we were um, in a super secret island location <laughs> with a uh, little friend Jenny and handsome husband Michael because uh, it was her birthday. We always take a big trip on her birthday. Yeah, and uh, and that was that was fun. That was heaven. Mm-hmm. Loved but, it. I mean, it's it, we have pretty much the same routine every day that we're at the beach with them. And you got to remember, they're like 12 years younger than I am. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. 10 years younger than Jody. Mm -hmm. And so it's go to the beach for a few hours, sit in the sun, which is my favorite thing to do. Come in after that, jump on a golf cart and start bar hopping until up in the night. Yeah. I mean, well, we get up in the morning. um, Little friend Jenny runs. And, and and then I usually have a cup of coffee and peacefulness, uh-huh. and then I'll go for a walk. And then usually when I'm headed out on my walk, I pass her coming back from 
a run. Um, and then we come in and get into our bathing suits, eat a little something. Yeah, I'll, I'll cook something mm-hmm. most, you know, most of the time. And then, yeah, we head out to the beach for several hours. And then y'all even, uh, you and handsome, my, handsome husband Michael went on a walk with us on the oh, beach. Oh, yeah, on the beach, yeah. That was crazy. Mm-hmm. So, I know. I didn't like it one bit. I know. Uh, mm-hmm. The first day first I didn't day. go. The first day I didn't go. Second day you did. Yeah. And third day, no. Nope. I Either didn't. one of you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. But then we start bar hopping and all. Well, you say bar hopping. Like, we got we get on the golf cart and we go eat. Where? Well. At a bar. Restaurant bar. I mean, there's not mm-hmm. like, Yeah. And then, um, I don't know, it's just, it's fun. It is fun, but I, I'm, I was going to make the point of that I'm exhausted when we get back, like the first <laughs> couple of days back to work. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's co- because it is so much fun, and we stay going the whole time. And you're in the sun and the heat. Mm-hmm. and it's, Which is my favorite. And we stayed up late every night. Yeah. And we usually don't do that. No, with, no, no. Even with them on stuff. We don't usually, we're not late night. I think it was probably the um, the meth. Oh God! That kept us up tweaking all night. Sure, but anyway, mm-hmm. that was fun. And then we had to come back to reality, which like, right now is reality. We're having to gru- do this grueling work hmm. of talking to the peoples. That's not bad. No, it's not. I'm being sarcasm. But I'm just trying to trying to let the people know that we haven't just been forgetting about them no. or anything. We've had much more important things going on, <laughs> you know, much more important than this show. Mother's like Day, going to the beach, and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. oh yeah, there was Mother's Day, and we went to a ga- a baseball, another baseball game. Mm, I feel I think we may have talked about that already, did we? Or has it been has I it been that been, long since we? Have yeah, we been on we didn't show? do the show then. Okay, and look, today we're only doing one segment, so thanks for joining us. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We got more coming up, hang on. TJ and Jody's house. We're here with Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies, and um, Richard, not just mortgages, not just home sales, now you're helping people with home improvements. Yeah, that's right, so if you need to... If you want a backyard that you've always dreamed of, or you want you need siding, windows, whatever you need, give us a call. Check it out. You've got the money in your home. Richard just helps you find it, finds the best way for you to do it. It's very simple. All you have to do is start by going to homewithrichard.com. It's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. They say there are only two things certain in life, sweet deals at sweet dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The sweet deals at Sweet Dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at Sweet Dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. TJ and Jody's house. All right. Thank you so much for uh, checking us out and the return of TJ and Jody's house. Um, we've been on sabbatical, on hiatus, on whatever you want to call it. <laughs> we we just have been um, sloughing off for about a month. So hopefully we have enough people um, who remembered us and, and came to check to download the episode. But we're going to have to just really promote it a lot. <laughs> and you say, hey, we're back. Mm-hmm. We're back. We're back. So, uh, Jody, yes. may I call you Jody? You may. Um, uh, when we were talking about in the last segment about being tired from, um, you know, going all on the vacations and staying up late and stuff, um, we're going to be really tired um, this Saturday night after the Small Town Adventures episode in New Bern, yes. North Carolina. Yeah. So... We do this thing called TJ and Jody's Small Town Adventures where we go to different towns in the North Carolina, South Carolina area, small towns um, on Saturdays with little friend Jenny and handsome husband Michael. And we video it and take pictures and mm-hmm. we talk about this is what they have in this town. This yeah. is you know, the whole thing. Yeah. Since we have started doing that, what, two years ago? Yeah. Um, the most suggestions for going to any town 
uh, has been New Bern, yeah. North Carolina. They started it. You need to go to New Bern. New Bern is a good town for you to do small town mm-hmm. adventures. Even people who aren't from New Bern were saying you should go, go to, to New, New Bern. Bern. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we're going to New we're Bern. We're going to New Bern. Yay! I'm excited. And it's a big deal because it's got sponsors and everything. Mm-hmm. I'm so excited. It's sponsored by Bojangles. Yes. And um, I got the schedule from the person who's in charge of the event yeah i got the schedule for that this oh morning. you did yeah okay you have not shared this with me yeah because i'm I, like i said i just got it this morning oh no oh, and no. so this is saturday sa- this coming saturday okay yeah. we're going to start um at the double tree which is um one of the one of the sponsors where um we're staying and all that sure uh and their restaurant uh, it's called Confluence, mm. and we're starting there for um, meals and drinks and all of that at two. So we'll be there uh, from two until four. Okay. Then we're going to Cypress Hall uh-huh. from four to six. Okay. Then Baxter's eighteen ninety two from six to eight. Uh huh. The Flying Fox from 8 to 10. <laughs> okay. So, have we ever had a small town adventures that lasted until 10? No. No. But we do when we finish a regular small town adventures and then come back to Mooresville, North yeah. Carolina, where we live, and then we'll go eat somewhere here. Yeah. So, we're probably... Same way. Yeah. Same, and so, same time. we'll be right there where we're staying. So, yeah. there won't be any drive home uh-uh. or anything. So, it'll probably average out to the same. I'm so, so excited. Yeah. But in, in all honesty, because... I'm not kidding. I'm We're not just so saying excited. that because, you know, it's sponsored and we're trying to hype it up or anything. Mm-mm. But we we went on vacation last year to Emerald Isle, North Carolina, mm-hmm. and on the way back we stopped in New Bern. Mm-hmm. Now we've been on the Ace and I have been on the radio in New Bern for years and years and years and years. It's New Bern, Greenville, Jacksonville, North Carolina, yeah. all of Eastern North Carolina. And um, I've been, but I haven't been to New Bern, you know, in the past in a Jody kind of way. You know, like looking for the same things that Jody would like <laughs> for vacation and things like that. So we stopped on the way back from the beach last year, on the way back from Emerald Isle. Well, we're going to spend the night. Yeah, but a hurricane or something was, it was coming. coming. Oh, there was a hurricane on the way. There was. Uh-huh. Um, but we stopped for lunch uh-huh. and looked around and all. It's the perfect oh, little. It's the cutest. Down, well, I, yeah, it's adorable. Oh, my gosh. It's adorable. And, and where the double tree is, is on the water. Mm-hmm. It's so cool. I, yeah. I'm so, and all we did was eat lunch, drive through. And we left, and mm-hmm. I was thinking, oh, I've been dying to go back. It's been almost a year to go see all these restaurants and stuff. Yeah, so I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. And the thing about it is, is that you don't have to just pick one of those locations to come and hang out with us. You can like we can have a caravan of people walking from each one or going from one to the other. I don't know whether you can. I, I guess you can walk from one to the other. Yeah. I don't know. No, you can. Okay. Yeah, I was told that. All right. Everything's walkable. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just going to be a, an opportunity for for us to try all these great places and mm-hmm. and feature Newburn as probably the biggest small town adventure we've ever done. Yeah, I'm so 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 ready. And I'm not going to lie, the people in Eastern North Carolina absolutely mm. love me. I mean, just you. They do. I mean, it's just crazy. <laughs> okay. You know, and and it makes my heart full. When people who love me so much get a chance to see me in person, mm. it's almost you know it's it's my way of giving back, uh-huh, you know, uh-huh. letting them get a glimpse of me in How person. How kind of you! Hey, it wasn't that the area we went to uh, where y'all did a live show that time. Mm-hmm. That was in Greenville, which, yes. is, which is part of that area. Man, those those listeners bring it. I know they're I they're know. the best. Right, and New Bern is going to be and New Bern's going to be really be good. Fun. I'm so ready. Mm-hmm. Yep. I just hope you don't do like you normally do and and drink too much and make make I an ass of yourself. I don't ever drink too much. Thank make, you very much. Making make an, an ass of yourself. I don't. And I don't do that. All the rest of us. I don't do it. Hmm. Well, I don't either. Hmm. I don't. Mm-hmm. That no. Michael though, handsome husband Michael, <laughs> he gets out of control. Uh, 
It'll be fun. Yeah, and we're going to be with um, with our friend Mark. Yeah, Who lives there. You know? So old Marky Mark. He's from that whole area, so that's going to be fun. Yeah. It's going to be a great time. We might even have to expand it on into Sunday and Monday. You know, <laughs> take, take the day off Monday. <laughs> really? And, and just and just stay? Mm-hmm. Why not? I don't I don't see why not. I don't see why not. All right, I'll, t- I'll pack extra clothes. <laughs> you never know. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, um, what else do we have going on? Hmm. Oh, our little baby's turning 21 this week. Yeah. He's our baby. <laughs> He's going to be 21. You sound like Leanne Morgan, the comedian. Can let me tell you something? My baby. Oh, this is our my, baby, though. My baby, when he turned 21. Mm. Well, yeah. anyway, he's turning 21. That's a big, a big one. And he and doesn't no, drink. He doesn't, never has. And so it, this is not a, like, we keep going, are you excited you're going to be 21? <laughs> and he's like, well, I mean, right, not big really. deal. Because he doesn't want to drink. He's never had one sip of alcohol ever. And, and I know people are going, oh, yeah, right. No. You just don't know. I, I really believe him when he says that. Oh, I his know. sister would tell on him, and she says, no, yeah. he never now, has. She cannot say the same <laughs> <laughs> she is probably drinking whatever he's not drinking you know yeah. she's making up for it. and i don't know that he ever will and i you know i think it's a, i think it is fantastic that he has done that i really really do mm-hmm. yeah but we don't think badly of our daughter no because that's kind of what it sounded like when you piggyback it. You know, no, when no, I no. said, now no, his sister, no, no, she's no. making up for him. And then, uh, and then you go, Ben, we are so proud of him. And <laughs> so good. I'm proud of her, too. Yeah, I know. But she listens to these things and she's. She knows I'm proud of her. She's in Nashville. And so she'll hear it she's and think that we, fun were, life. we were being Which, hard on her. Lainey Wilson was there this weekend. I so wanted to go. She sang two nights there. Friday I night and Saturday rained night. Out. Nope. She didn't? Nope. And um, she had special guests that showed up last night. Mm. Um, I think you have a problem with that, with the Lainey Wilson obsession. I do. Our daughter was out in Nashville the other night, uh, just outside, I mean. And you could barely, off in the distance, hear <laughs> sound coming from this venue that um, Lainey Wilson was playing the next night. Mm-hmm. And so... Uh, our Laney sent the video to Jody, and I mean, you could barely hear that. I think this is uh, Laney Wilson doing sh- sound check. No, she said it was her. Um, but either way, whatever you would have thought, like Jody acted like Laney Wilson was at the front door. <laughs> no, I just said that I was, was like, cool that oh she my did God, that. This is so cool. Did you see, look, Laney Wilson is in this. Well, I thought it was cool she day. did it. Yeah, it's no different than I you know, acting like you, you dates you the her. skeins, the uh, picture for. Who who he pitch for now? Paul Skeens, Ugh. the national uh, college national championship pitcher from LSU, now plays for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Mm-hmm. Number one pick overall last year in the draft. See what and I now mean? He's setting the setting the major leagues on mm-hmm. far, mm-hmm. and I like to watch him. I bet I'm not the only one that loves Lainey Wilson and her music. I know music. a lot of people love Lainey Wilson, but you're. You're, like, you're uh, obsessed. With you you are in there dressing up dolls to look like. <laughs> you're not. putting bell bottoms on old Barbies. No, and but them speaking Laney of Wilson. that, I want to go to her bar that just opened too in Nashville. Wait, is she going to be there? No. Oh. No. So it's just like a Margaritaville, like Jimmy Buffett wasn't ever really there at the various locations. It's like all the time. bars in Nashville, yeah. yes. Okay. And hers used to be the the guy from... Uh, Georgia Line, Florida Georgia Line. Yeah, that used to be. The, yeah, their bar. Okay, was and that they the, split up? Was he the the liberal one or the good? one? I have no idea. Okay, but they split up. Yeah, because one of them's a liberal, mm. and the other one. Anywho, couldn't couldn't hack that. So Laney got the bar. Hmm. Laney got the bar. Laney got the bar. Um. Well. The fact that you're wearing a shirt today that says "Take Me to Nashville." <laughs> I didn't even realize. Yeah. That. I mean, you don't look like a weird fan <laughs> at all. <laughs> I've had this shirt for five years, and you just decided to wear it today. I just decided. When we were going to talk about Lainey Wilson. I didn't know I was going to talk about Lainey Wilson. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. if you're talking, you're going to be talking about. No, Lainey Wilson. I'm not. 
Freak. Obsessed. You're obsessed. <laughs> okay. She's going to get a restraining order out, out on you. <laughs> no, she's not. I just think she's great. You're like, you're like that woman that used to dress up like Reba all the time and then just show up at Reba <laughs> events. Like she, Listen, was on a, she was in the Today Show crowd on the street one day, um, and Al Roker pulled her out because Reba was a guest, and a musical guest. Al Roker pulled her out of the, the crowd, and, and you could tell Reba McIntyre was like, I know who she is. Ooh. That's going to be you. That is not going to be me. At first, I'm not wearing bell bottoms. I'm not going to wear a big old hat. Yeah, you are. You're gonna, and then you're going to talk about your butt all the time. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh-huh. You'll be out there going, hey, Lainey, I'm from Louisiana, too. Mm. Let me come hang out with you. Nope. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we got to take a break. we got more coming up. One more segment of um, you being rude to me, me. and uh, Lainey Wilson <laughs> wannabe. <laughs> <laughs> more from TJ and Jody's house next. So our friend Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies is here and he has helped us so many times through the years. And when it comes to mortgages, he's gonna get you the best deal. That's right, we are the best deal. And if you're under contract to buy a house, you should check us out. I mean, you're not going to, they never do, <laughs> but, <laughs> but we're the best deal. But, but feel free, you should, and because we've used him for years for a variety of different things. Whatever you're needing, go to homewithrichard.com to get the process started, and they can take care of you from there. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash calitrin, order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with calitrin. Let's go. It's DJ and Jody's house on the Radio Button Network. Hey, so we are uh, we are back, and um, I don't feel it in, uh, that I feel in, in any rust or anything. I'm not rusty, Jody, since it's been a while since we've done a, a show. Do you feel rusty with your performance? No. You don't? No. Okay. Well, I was going to say, I don't really feel rusty because I've been still doing my other shows yeah. and all of that. But yeah. you haven't. You no. haven't been doing doing any of it. But good. No. It's good. Th- as long as you don't feel like you sound rusty, then that's all that matters. <laughs> all I do is sit here that and talk. All that matters. <laughs> um, but it did take a while to get everything set up today because Jody had completely dismantled the entire set. I did. All of the lights and all the equipment and everything. It usually stays um, set up here so we can just pop on and do it and then Mm -hmm. go on about our business. But it was for a good reason, a very good reason that she took the entire thing apart and I had to rebuild it. It's because she's flattening out a rug and it's not even our rug. So (laughs) this is kind of like an extra (laughs) side business that she's taken on. (laughs) Hey, flatten we'll rugs. flatten out your rug for you. <laughs> so, little friend Jenny and handsome husband Michael got a new rug for their house, and it was all rolled up and shipment and everything. And why are why are we straightened? Why is well, it in here? Well, because they brought it over not to straighten, but to because it was wrapped up and folded up. Yeah. So they and it smells when it when you have it like that. Mm-hmm. So I un Thursday night. When they were over here, I, we undid it and laid it out on the screen screen porch. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, my OCD, I could not look at that uh, out on the screen porch for the day on Friday. Okay, so I so, drag it upstairs. All right. So it was it was out there just to air out. Yeah, just to air out. And then you, you couldn't leave it out there. But that's probably because you sit out there most of the time. I do. I love screen porch. But, but it's not, okay. So the smell's gone. It doesn't stink. Yeah, it smell and, like shipping. And they'll get it. But I, I just brought it up here that day. It's not to flatten out. It's just to, it. Just, I brought it up here because I didn't want it sitting out there. Okay. So the only thing you wanted to do was air it out. Yeah. But then you didn't want to roll it back up after it was aired out. Right. Okay. So you'd rather dismantle our set that has to be completely. <laughs> yes. Yes. So you can. Use the yeah, 
Because they have a lot more space in their house that they're not using. They don't have a space, but they didn't have a space to open it with the smell. Yeah. Because they didn't it. want it to smell up the inside right. of their they house. They have a covered place. Right. Yeah. And where ours is, you know, mm. screened and it got the smell out. Okay. Well, I got everything set up and back together and all, so there's not to worry about that. Yay. This is, uh, yeah. <sighs> da, 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 da. But you know what that means now as well? That means that I'm going to have to take it all back down to get the rug to back to them. Because it's set up on their rug now. Yeah, but I don't know when they're going to come get it. Well, I mean, whenever they do, I'm still going to have to, as the millennials say, do the work. Sure. It was folded, so this way it'll be rolled. They did want me to try to get this crease out, but I don't think... See how that line is? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Don't know. (laughs) Listen, anything that has to do with uh, anything inside the home as far as decor, as far as um, uh, cooking, as far as cookware, as far as you know, cleaning. I'm not cleaning, but as far as um, like p- where things should be placed and all that. Uh, Jenny's mom doesn't live here. She lives in Lincoln, Nebraska. So <laughs> Jody is the one that, <laughs> I'm her mom. that always has to to do that sort of thing and then i do the cooking stuff because they don't know anything about <laughs> yeah about home stuff anyway that's but what's... uh like little friend jenny's gym you know that was how how long has that been there now three years or four oh, years mm, yeah something like that uh jody helped pick out all the colors of that and you know, all of that sort of thing it was fun and the flooring and yeah we d- we we were teamwork mm-hmm <laughs> we were teamwork yeah it was fun She'd say jody i got a bunch of floor samples for you to look at <laughs> you know i don't know about this but she does she does know you think she just says that kind of stuff just to get out of doing it i i just think she gets overwhelmed because mm-hmm. it can be overwhelming yeah anyway, and you love doing it i do so it's kind of spending thing. other people's money <laughs> but I do I do like this rug. Did yeah. you pick out the rug? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> we did have a big discussion about it. Yeah. Yeah. I told her the size and then we started looking at them. So Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Well I think it'll work out just fine. Yes. Mm-hmm. But anyway. I, I don't like having to You're all do right. all the extra work. You're okay. Hmm. Oh, I know I'm okay. It's uh-huh. just that, you know, I, I have so much going on. I don't like having to just do excess work. Yeah. Uh-huh. My time is money. Uh-huh. Speaking of, uh-huh. I am just a few minutes away from going to bed for the night. Oh, you're not going to stay up and watch the game? I can't. I can't do it. What? I can't do it. It's at 6 o'clock. Right. And if I get all hyped up and oh. the game won't be over until 9. Yeah. 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 It isn't fun to watch with you though, because if they start to if they get behind it all, you act a fool. How so, Jody? How so? Yeah, it's over. Season's over. It, what is there something else y'all want to watch? Like it is the most ridiculous thing I've ever th- ever seen in my life. Mm-hmm. Have you ever noticed that boy and I do that together? Like he does it too. You you really get that? mad, but I don't really get mad when uh, the uh, team scores a run against them or a touchdown, and I don't really think the season is over. I just say that to be ridiculous. Negative. To mm-hmm. be ridiculous, mm-hmm. you know. Just yeah. like whenever we go to a restaurant, no matter how many cars are in the parking lot, I will say, "Oh, we're never getting a table in here." Yeah, that, I don't. I don't know that. Uh, that used to be a thing where you actually meant that, and then it's happened so much now. It's just a joke. Mm-mm. No, I'm sorry, Jody, but you were wrong. I'm sorry, but I am right. No, you, no this is just your, you know, continued uh, <laughs> sarcasm decline. I know. As you get older, I know. I have so many issues. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. The kids will tell you that they, they know when I'm joking and when I'm not. Okay. However, um, I didn't. Uh, the other day when we were at the LSU game, LSU wasn't doing well. They weren't hitting well or anything, and the other team was doing pretty well. And when LSU won in the uh, final at-bat with a walk-off home run, people were texting me and and would say, that is awesome. Like Ace sent a message, that was awesome that y'all were there to see that. And I said, what happened? We left in the sixth because they were sucking. We left in the sixth inning. You always got to be bugging. (laughs) Aggravating yeah. somebody. He didn't. He didn't fall for it though. You did when I told because you because I know had, what a brat you are. I told are. you we had already left, and you and she was texting back to me going, "Why'd you even go? <laughs> Let me go. I'd sit there." Well, Aiden would have wanted to leave. Too. I mean, he and I are alike with that, but we wouldn't have left. And why we'd do you think he's left. like that? Because he's got a great personality. Duh. Okay. A winning personality. Mm-hmm. He's funny. Mm-hmm. He is funny. People like that. Most people. Most people. But that's it for the uh, return of TJ and Jody's uh, podcast. We should have put something new in the set, Jared, like behind uh, us. We should have put something up. Like that, what? To make it look like, well, we've been off because we were rebuilding the set. <laughs> you know, and just have like a piece of paper up there or something that says new Rebuilding set. the set. It just says new set on it. Yeah. That'd have been funny. Uh-huh. All right. Well... I did forget what we're supposed to do though when we li- when we're leaving the show. We're supposed to say what? I don't hey, know. Thanks for you blow a kiss or something. Yeah, let's not do that anymore. No. Let's just hold on. Let's, <laughs> let's just pick up the uh, our pink <laughs> towel that we use to cover up the monitor so we don't look at it the whole time, and then we'll say, "All right, thanks for joining us. Bye bye." <laughs> How about that? Okay. That's good. It's TJ and Jody's house on the Radio Button Network.